Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. I'm continuing the Blender to Unreal character tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we created some concept art for our character, which is just over here. Uh, you will notice I did work on it a little bit afterwards. Um, just added a couple of shading details, removed the helmet piece over there, it's just a hood, and added the hand over there. I'm not going to create both sides of the legs because we're going to mirror everything that we're going to create. So we only really need one side. Um, today we're going to focus on the chest piece. Now with Blender, uh, we can sculpt the entire chest piece, which I am going to start. But preferably we're just going to like block out what we want the chest piece to look like. And then we're going to work on it, come back to it later on after we finish all the other parts of the, the model. So today we're just going to like sculpt the basic chest piece and um, then we're going to continue with the entire tutorial and then when we're done with the rest of the character we're going to come back to the chest piece and then I'll show you guys um, how to get everything to look a little bit more metal. Um, sculpting a chest piece, um, you can do it, but it's uh, not recommended because this entire chest piece what we're going to do is going to be a piece of armor um, the sculpting seems a little bit pointless on it but anyway let's get started so I've selected the torso piece you will recognize this is the make human character that we imported before then I'm just going to on my numpad um, on my keyboard I'm just going to push the slash key and then you'll go into a local view for a particular item that you selected. If you push the slash key again, you go out of local view. And um, I don't want off a graphic view, I want perspective view when, when I sculpt. Because you might get everything looking perfect in off a graphic view, but once you go into your game and everything is in perspective, it would not look great. It might look actually quite horrible. So just keep that, just bear that in mind. Okay, so let's go into sculpt mode. And we're going to use dynamic topology. Before I go into sculpt mode, I notice uh, in edit mode that this is fairly low on the geometry side. So I'm just going to push A to select all, W, and I'm going to say subdivide. And I think I'm going to do that twice. It might look a little bit weird now, but you'll you'll see basically what will happen when we're in sculpt mode. So I'm going to enable sculpting. Let's say that it does have vertex data. That's from the UVs and everything that came from Make Human, but we don't want those, so we're going to ignore it. You'll notice your model changes color. If you want, you can sculpt in the gray. Um, if you have a lower end system, that would help. Um, I prefer sculpting in matcap red um, mainly thanks to zbrush or zbrush and um, let's get started so going to select uh, crease and because we are in dynamic topology um, but you'll notice that it does have a symmetry lock on the x-axis so anything i do on the left will happen on the right Okay, so basically what we're just doing now is just blocking out pieces of the armor. It doesn't have to look exactly like our concept art. Um, you you can just um, take your artistic preference. Maybe create this piece a little bit bigger than what it was in the concept. Um, if you hold shift and you click, then um, it will smooth everything out. So you, you might notice that I do that. I don't think it gets picked up on the screencast keys. You'll see there I'm holding shift and I'm clicking, but it doesn't pick up over there. So uh, just when you see that oh, all of a sudden everything's going smooth, that probably means I'm holding shift in. Okay. 
Okay. Want the armor to go all the way around. So you'll, you'll see that I'm still just using the crease, marking everything out. And we'll see where we go from there. I want this to come in as one piece, so. So essentially what I'm doing with the armor, I'm trying to make um, all the parts where a body would be bending um, a little bit more flexible. So the top armor piece will be like uh, completely solid, but the side here will probably be some form of um, uh, loose plates or, or um, just um, more flexible pieces of armor. Okay, I know it sounds pretty early, but that is actually I'll switch over to the um, inflate brush there. That is actually starting to look pretty, pretty good just for a, a basic sculpt. As I say, we are going to come back to this uh, later on. Um, in no means what we're doing here today is it a, a, a finished sculpt. It's it's um, like creating reference from a reference. So let's move that out. I think I'm going to make these lines follow like that. Let's move them out again. I think I'm just going to do something like that and then add maybe another let's do it here a little bit lower like that like that Move out a little bit. Okay, this stomach piece is bothering me a little bit. So I'm just going to inflate it and then just go over with the flatten brush and just flatten out some of the pieces. Um, just to make it look maybe a little bit more metallic. And a little less like a, a fat stomach. So let's just polish over these a little bit. Now, of course, as I say, if you really want to go through the process of um, what what you created with your concept art and completely sculpting it, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I am going to show you another method later on, but that will um, carry on as soon as we finish with the rest of the model. Moving flatten these out. Okay, I think 
maybe let's do something like something weird. Maybe he's got some um, fuel cell pack or something on his back here. Okay, I'm just going to create like the little bolt pieces that we created in our concept art. Uh, just to give us an idea uh, where the end, ends of the armor meet. Maybe put one here. And then we're going to maybe create a crease on side of it there. So I'm just creating like a reference for the bolts by just holding control and clicking with the inflate brush. Um, that way you can see that it's in, in, in no means it's is a, a finished product. It's just to give us an idea of when we eventually come to this phase of the model uh, where we're going to put in some additional detail. Okay. It also gives you an idea that um, when you look at the bolts uh, where the armor must maybe be um, cut off again, for instance, there. Okay, thus far, this looks pretty good. I am um, a little bit more happy uh, with the design. Can maybe just use the inflate brush to inflate the shoulders. Uh, our make human character doesn't particularly have very broad shoulders because we just use like a reference character. So, uh, let's inflate the back a bit and just use the smooth brush again. Um, something that you might get worried about later on is when you start working on the model and you'll notice that oh, you got this piece over here that is um, hanging over. Well, we are going to sort that out by just basically grabbing it and then um, pulling another piece like the, the arm or something over it. Or um, something else you can do is always just select the circular part and you can just fill it. And then once you fill it and you start sculpting on it again, then um, well, just make sure that dynamic topology gets enabled again once you go back. And then if you start smoothing out, it should smooth out the edges. And there you go. But um, a word of caution that um, when you go into edit mode, it will not mirror what you did here over here. So you'll still have like an empty piece over there. So yeah, just going to undo that. Okay. I am fairly happy with the, the, the armor piece at the current moment. As you can see, it's starting to blend into the character. I'm going to... Um, 
perspective mode you see uh, we are going to inflate uh, some of it we're going to increase the size of the armor a little bit but this was just to give us an idea of um, what this is going to look like the main focus will be uh, on, on things like uh, material um, cloth or, or skin which we're going to start with on the next video and that's going to be a little bit more uh, easier I'll show you just a quick and easy way um, and the, the, the hands are pretty defined by themselves already so just adding a little bit of extra geometry already will add details to the the hands themselves and even the face um, I might jump into another 3D program called Sculptress to sort that out, but um, it all depends on how the, the look goes along. Um, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos soon in the coming week. And um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, we do have a website up where I will be uploading project files. The current moment the website is fairly empty but um, uh, as I said I will be uploading more things uh, in the future. So I thank you all very uh, much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.